is Al or Atlas Star Nerd on Instagram, and welcome to today's episode of Wasting My Youth. Why am I wasting it? Who knows, but that's what my brain is telling me. I'm gonna blame it on the fact that I haven't really left my house in over a year. And not by choice. Today I'm just doing a draw with me, a sketch with me video, so grab your sketchbook, grab a project, homework, painting, whatever, whatever you're working on, let's sit together and do some art. My personal goal today is to do some quick, really simple sketches, to not really worry about it too much. Whatever your goal is, let me know in the comments, we'll work on it together, heck yeah. And special thanks to my patrons, you guys can totally go check out my Patreon down below if you want to be part of the gay fam. Okay, so quite a few people have been asking me since I started my Instagram, how do you deal with the art block? Like seriously, I get asked this question so often and I never really knew how to deal with it myself. So I just never really answered the question. <laughs> Back in the day when I started doing art, I was in a permanent state of art block. It was like an inside joke on my Instagram. I posted like once a month and every post was just like, when, when will my art return from the war? And it never did. <laughs> At all. However, it's been years since then, and things have changed. And I feel like at this point, I've learned a lot about art and art block and how it works and all that jazz. Uh, at least I have opinions about it. <laughs> Who knows if they're factually correct. I know generally when people ask this question, they're looking for like tips and tricks to like get through art block and exercises and all that kind of stuff. And I definitely do have some tips in that sense, but overall I think tips and tricks are like a bandaid on a bullet wound. And I want to talk about art block in a bigger sense, but we'll do that later. <laughs> so first of all, let's talk about like what art block is again, in my opinion. <laughs> I think art has like three main parts to it uh, and a block in any of those parts or a combination of those parts can lead to art block. There's motivation, inspiration, and ability. So first of all, let's talk about like what art block is, at least in my opinion. I think art has like three main parts to it and a block in any of those parts or a combination of those parts can lead to art block. There's motivation, inspiration, and ability. Motivation is your day-to-day -day drive to actually sit down and do art, the desire to create, the energy to make something. Inspiration is your creativity, it's your ideas, the things that come to you when you sit down, like the ease of just making stuff because you already have a stockpile of ideas. And your ability is like your actual physical ability to draw. You know, some days you sit down and everything you do comes really easy to you, it looks really good, and sometimes you sit down and your hand is just not at all connected to your brain. So art block comes from some misfire in any one or a combination of those three things, if that makes sense. So what I think is the first step to dealing with your art block is determining where you're struggling, where you're lacking. Which of these three parts is not happening for you? If it's just one or two of those things, great. You can totally do some art exercises, take your time, whatever, and you'll probably get over it soon. But if you're lacking in all three, you're struggling in all three of those areas, then it might go a little deeper, uh, but we'll talk about that in a sec. So if you're lacking in motivation, if for the life of you, you just can't get yourself to sit down and draw, my advice is to not push yourself that hard. Uh, maybe set aside 10 minutes a day to make yourself sit down and draw something, anything, work on warm up sketches, do some fun fan art, do self indulgent stuff. You don't need to commit to some big project or anything that requires like too much brain power. Don't intimidate yourself out of doing art because you're not feeling up to your usual level of work. And it's fine if you're not feeling up to your usual level of work. Sometimes we work way too hard all the time. Focus on just getting pencil to paper or stylus to screen or whatever it is. Without pushing yourself too hard, just work on establishing and maintaining the habit of doing art regularly despite not always having loads of motivation. And again, it could just be 10 minutes a day. Just actually making yourself do it just to get over that slump of lack of motivation. If you're lacking in inspiration, my advice is to focus on comfort art, studies, and like looking at other people's art. Do your go-to doodles. Like if back in the day, back in middle school, the only thing you knew how to draw was eyes, get back to that. Draw some damn eyes, who cares? 
pick an object or an animal that you're kind you're you know maybe kind of interested in and draw them a bunch of times practice shading spheres or something i don't care i have a folder of saved instagram posts of all the stuff i've seen from other artists that i love and when i'm really uninspired i look through those posts and pick out the little things that i find really interesting in their art and i try to think about how i could implement that into my own style when you're feeling uninspired, don't stress about making good art. Don't worry about making art that is original or fresh or interesting or exciting. We don't always have to make good art. You don't need to put that pressure on yourself, especially when you're not feeling up to it. Make bad art, make boring art, give yourself a break. Don't feel bad if you're drawing the same thing over and over again. Sometimes we need to do that. Sometimes we just need to let our brain chill for a second. If you're having trouble with ability, if your hand just literally won't do the things that you tell it to do, again, make bad art. If you're still wanting to make art, but things just are looking bad no matter what you do, do some low priority stuff. Work on thumbnails that don't need to be pretty, do some dumb doodles, try some sort of craft or something 3D, try something new that you'll probably fail anyway, so when it turns out ugly, it won't be that surprising. Don't worry about whether or not it looks good, just do stuff that you have fun doing anyways. Overall, if you're experiencing a block in any of these areas, here are some exercises that I always find really fun and helpful and therapeutic. My go-to is to have someone else use markers to make like weird shapes on paper, big or small, and then I draw on top of them, just like doodle whatever fits in the shape or whatever I see out of it. It's so fun, I do it all the time, whether I'm blocked or not, I, I think it's so fun. <laughs> I also really like doing self-portraits. It's an easy reference. You're not accidentally stealing anything. I enjoy doing it and I don't offend anyone if it turns out kinda ugly. I also like to take the opportunity to do something I normally would never draw. Like I'll do studies of animals that I've never really thought I would be interested in drawing before. Or I just really try to switch it up. Like do something that I would never do in art. Like if I'm feeling totally uninspired, totally unmotivated to sit down and do a portrait like I normally do, maybe I'll go and try and do a landscape or I'll try and do a collage. Just something out of left field that normally I would never ever consider doing on a regular basis. So there's like some really generic advice and tips on how to deal with art block. But now I wanna talk about like chronic art block, which is what I dealt with for like two years straight. When I say chronic art block, I'm talking art block that lasts longer than a few weeks or art block that just keeps coming back no matter what you do, in which you experience every type of art block, either all at once or a combination of them all at different times. And it's a continuing decreased internal desire to like ever get back to art or decreased passion in art, which is literally the scariest thing ever, speaking from experience, to feel yourself lose your passion for like the only thing you love, it's terrifying, but it happens. I've learned that chronic art block isn't something that you can tips and tricks your way out of. You can't push through it and draw anyways. I had an epiphany about a year ago back in December when I graduated college and moved from Virginia to Florida back into my parents' house. Because of finals and trying to fit in time with all my friends before I moved away, and also the stress of finding someone to take over my lease, packing all my stuff, cleaning my entire apartment by myself, I was just too busy to do much art which kind of snowballed into something way worse. Once I moved and I was busy unpacking and all that stuff, again, I didn't have time to do art or I was, you know, not feeling it. And I noticed that when I did sit down to draw, I wasn't into it, I wasn't enjoying it. And trying to draw through it was making me feel worse. I drew enough to keep up my Instagram and the things I was drawing looked okay, but my heart just wasn't in it at all. And it became harder and harder to draw and the more I pushed myself, the more I was associating art with something negative. After about a month of this, I realized that I, I just didn't wanna do art. Not just at the time, but like at all, forever. I had completely, completely lost my passion for art. Forcing myself to keep going had done more harm than good. I was considering deleting my Instagram as I lost more and more followers due to inactivity. I really thought that I was about to lose art for possibly the rest of my life, which now saying it out loud, it sounds dramatic, but that's really how I felt at the time. I spent days wondering like, oh my God, is this it for me? Like, I don't even care. Like, I don't want to pick up a pencil. Like I don't want to, and will I ever want to again? I was so messed up with my art that I didn't even care that I was wor like I was worried, but it was more for the thought of like, I've invested so much time, am I just gonna quit? It wasn't out of, I didn't, I didn't care.
care that I was losing art, you know what I mean? I care that I was losing a part of my life, but not because it was art. I don't know how to describe it, but I, I didn't care. Like, I didn't even care that I was losing this part of me. I wasn't upset about losing art. I was upset about having invested so much time into it, but I, I didn't care. So I just stopped pushing myself. I just let it go. I figured if it's gonna come back, I can't force it to. And literally just allowing myself that break, just letting it go for that small amount of time, maybe a week or two, was enough to completely reignite my passion and motivation. And I dove head first back into art. And that's when I realized like why my art block is so bad, the root problem and how to actually deal with it for good, not just a band-aid on a bullet wound. Back when I started college, I was really, really depressed and in sophomore year, I was the worst I had ever been. I didn't really leave my dorm room ever. I barely even left for work or class. And the only thing keeping me afloat was my art Instagram. It was the only regular socialization I got. It felt like the only place I had real friends. It was my only stimulation and the only thing I cared about, honestly. Everything I consumed had to do with art. I only watched art related YouTube videos. I spent all day on my Instagram app, refreshing the page over and over and over again. I drew all the time from wake to sleep. I was drawing, I doodled in all my classes instead of paying attention. My thoughts were consumed with like fantasies of being some successful YouTube artist and the vlogs I would make and, and the art that I would be making. And my life just revolved around art, literally. And ironically enough, that's when my art block was the absolute worst. It wasn't until last year when I thought I had lost art for good that I realized why it had been so bad back in sophomore year, despite it being the only thing I loved. I had no balance. My friend Wilma has a video about art block, which is great and you should absolutely go watch it, where she says that the best way to get over art block is to go do something else. And that art block is our body's way of telling us to take a break. And I completely 100% agree. When I focus so much on my art that it starts taking over my life, I suddenly start not loving it. My entire relationship with my art is terrible and I never want to draw because my brain, my body is telling me, hey, go take a fucking walk, like go outside, do anything else but art for just like five minutes. I haven't had art block at all in any way, shape or form since I almost quit art last year because I realized, like, oh my gosh, I need to actually take care of myself, which it sounds dumb, but I didn't realize that throwing yourself completely 100% into one thing isn't good for you. I stopped watching art YouTubers. Even now, I feel bad about it because I don't even really watch my friends regularly and I feel bad for not supporting them, but I, I don't even really watch art YouTube anymore. I have a schedule that makes sure I spend time with my family, that I get exercise, that I watch the other stuff that I like instead of art YouTube, that I spend time reading and enjoying my other hobbies. I pace myself with my work. I don't spend literally 16 hours straight sitting on my bed drawing like I used to back in sophomore year. And since I've started balancing my life, letting myself do and enjoy other things, I literally have not had any issues with my art. I have a great relationship with my art. Sure, there are a few days in a row here and there where I don't really feel like drawing, and I, I just don't. If I don't feel like it, I don't draw because I don't need to create every day. If I'm really not feeling it, I listen to my body and I take the day off, or the week off if I have to. The world will keep turning even if I'm not being productive all the time. And sure enough, after a few days, my desire to do art always comes back as passionate as ever. Taking those breaks without pushing myself means that I'm never forcing myself to do art. I'm never associating it with something negative. I'm not slowly making myself hate something that I once loved. So if you're in an art block and you really don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, if you think like this is it, my advice is to let art go no matter how scary it is. If you keep experiencing art block over and over and over and over, if you can't push through, just don't try to. Let it go. Give your body and your brain the break that it is literally begging you for. Find some balance in your life. Find a way to make sure you're getting stimulation outside of art. 
I've realized that art block isn't some sign that you're not meant to be an artist. It's not something to hate or fear or get annoyed by. It's something to look out for and listen to and accept as our body and brain's way of communicating with us. Your art isn't bad. Your brain is just bored. So yeah, I think that the root cause of art block is overworking ourselves. It's over dedicating ourselves. It's just a reminder that we are more than what we create and that to be healthy, we need a full circle of stimulation from the world. And pushing through it isn't always the right way to go. So next time you find yourself unable to draw for whatever reason, take a break and really look within. Try and diagnose yourself. What part of art are you stuck in right now? Motivation, inspiration, or ability? Will it help to push through it? Or should you spend time focusing on other areas of your life like FaceTiming friends you haven't talked to in a while, reading a book you've been waiting to read, to try and commit to a walk every day, try a new recipe? Just remember to take care of yourself and finding that balance will help cultivate a healthy relationship with your art and hopefully you won't be art blocked all the time anymore. Okay, so those are my thoughts. Obviously, it's just my opinion based on my experience. I'm not saying I'm right, but the drastic difference between when I started art and it was all I cared about and how tortured I was to now when I have a pretty balanced life and art is like amazing, like I feel great about it and I have for like a year straight, I feel like I might have some some standing, you know what I mean? Maybe, who knows? Uh, and seriously, go watch Wilma's video because she says it so much more succinctly than I do. She put it so well and her words definitely helped me to better articulate it too for this video. Art block is a, is a weird thing to describe if you've never experienced it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video, whether it was someone to talk to and draw with, to hang out with, or tips and tricks, or advice, or a reminder to take care of yourself, whatever it is. Um, I had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, go water your plants, eat a banana, unless you're allergic or something, watch an episode of your favorite show, and go do some art. Or don't, if you need a break, listen to your body. Whatever you need. Okay, guys, bye.